There's Mick. Hey, hey going, Rick. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Just uh, back from... How Scotland. much damage do you have to do before you poop your pants? <laughs> this is awful. What? What? People that know Smokes Wag are so into this poop joke. Like, honestly. Well, they, they also watch a lot of South Park at Paper Central, 667 Young Street. We watch a lot. Look at him. He's Amazing. like, he's ripping a bong over there in his bong ripping place. Look at him. He's got his headset on so he can hear the show and talk. You're just going to, like, intrude on our show? Well, I just wanted to uh, make the announcement here that uh, Opus Live is coming back next Monday with the new format and nice. the new time. New format, new time. Are you going to broadcast out of that room you're in right now? That'd be fucking you got cool. It. Yeah? Uh, Fuck that fairy it. shit, man. That fairy shit going from Port Alberni to wherever it is in Vancouver at the CCHQ. That's a trek. Yeah, now, it's too, too fucking far. What you're saying is that Opus Live will be on the Pot TV network via live from Port Alberni? Live from Opus Farms here. It'll be uh, from 4 o'clock till 5 o'clock, though. Instead of 3 to 4.30 like it was. 4 to 5, so you're going to cross over that 4.20 hour. And you're talking Pacific, correct? You got it. West right. Coast. Uh, That's because people so were protesting and tell talking about, yeah, we want the Opus show back. And there were protests and stuff. I heard there were going to be protests if you didn't have your show back. Well, I didn't know there was going to be protests, but people were disappointed. And uh, I was too, so I figured we'll just... Uh, We'll just bring it to you from the home uh, front here, and uh, things will probably be a lot easier that way for, for me, anyhow. Well, the trek alone's got to be a bit of a challenge to trek from Port Alberni into uh, into the CCHQ headquarters in Vancouver there every Monday. That's got to be a bit of a challenge, and especially in the winter months, it can't be that pleasant. <coughs> but a lot of people do enjoy watching the Opus Live show on the pot tv network so that's great to hear that you're back uh i'm not sure if you heard that we're in our the myrtle Wanna show is in its final year of its contract have you heard that no i didn't hear that uh, no. so you're renegotiating uh, are you or no uh, we're uh, looking at the freelance market also and uh, we're currently uh renegotiating maybe or coming up with some sort of good deal for the myrtle Wanna show and and the pot ads and stuff but yeah, final year of our this. We're in our last season now, and uh, we hope to be maybe extend ourselves and go all the way this year to to the cannabis cup. You know, take the cup. But um, I don't know. There's other offers out there. I'm sure you had other offers to do your show. Yeah. Well, I've talked to a few people. Uh, I'm pretty happy here at Pot TV, doing the way the present situation is. Uh, we'll see how this new format works out. I know uh, we. Uh, I've had a people saying to me that we should do a show together on the line somewhere. Yeah, I know. But, well, there, uh, there's been some talk. We'll maybe bring it back to Toronto if I get a good show, and we'll have bring Jay Danger with us and see what happens there. But uh, Blueberry Jam, talk to me about Blueberry Jam. Well, the Blueberry Jam is uh, something I was given to me recently. It's from. Uh, who the hell does that? Dr. Atomic. And it's basically uh, Northern Lights number five crossed with the uh, wonderful blueberry. And it's a real good one. It's, <laughs> I don't know, I've probably grown out in the last eight or nine years, say five or six different strains. And it's the first time I've kept one in the room. This is a keeper. Real cerebral high, really good uh, get up and go pot. Got me out and going snowshoeing today, scouting out some outdoor spots. That was lots of fun. Found I a few promising places. Sky because, you know, uh, outdoor is coming back if uh, these uh, new medical marijuana laws go. Here's a question for you. Can you pronounce the Minister of Health's last name? Uh, I think it's dog shit, but I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not Close. Actually, uh, Close. I think it's with Aluiquia. I think you need a chicken bone stuck in your throat to say it properly. 
Right. Right. So, uh, in the shortened hockey season, do you think the Canucks can finally win the Stanley Cup? Who? who? And where did Stanley put it? Low? Did he lose his cup? What? Well, it was, it, <laughs> and and oh the, man, they've lost me this year. I uh, I'm not paying attention to hockey this year. I've had enough of their bullshit. Good on you. Good on you. But I just gotta say this. Toronto Maple Leaf fans, we could go to the Stanley Cup because it's the, such a short period of time. Like, we come out of the gates usually impressive, where it's like, hey, nobody's learned to play hockey yet, but we at least are playing at the best of our abilities right now. Yeah, around game 35, it goes all to shit to us. So in a 40-game hockey season, 35 games in, fuck, we could do pretty good this year. Go Leafs, go. Yeah. <laughs> A Toronto Maple Leaf coup d'etat. We are apparently the uh, number one contender to get Luongo as well. No, nice. Can, well, yeah. from Vancouver. You can have him. <laughs> no, he's, um, but uh, oh. thankfully in baseball news, you know, we have R.A. Dickey coming. And uh, I don't know if you heard this. Check it out on Twitter, uh, Obis. Jose Canseco has announced. He is seeking the mayoral ship of Toronto. He wants to run for mayor. <laughs> well, I think yeah, I did see that that Conseco wants to run for mayor. I think that's excellent. I really do. Um, hopefully, we can get uh, Jose and Rob Ford in some kind of mayoral, uh, I don't know, jello wrestling or something. Yeah. That might be cool. Yeah, I, I think I really think that Jeremiah. A.K. my people should contact Mr. Canseco's people and have him on the show. Yeah, get him on the show for sure. That'd be good to Jeremiah, see. Jeremiah, I want him on. Is, is Jeremiah my people when it comes to booking? <laughs> I see him in the chat there. How's that Canseco? He's got half a million Twitter followers. How's that Canseco? Anyways, Matt, I got company here. I'm going to have to go. You have company? Uh, we'll bring the company on the show to do uh, bong rips with us. No, uh, they don't want to show on, go on, so unfortunately. That'd be kind of a cool show for you to have, Opus. You'd people just ring your doorbell and come in and do bong rips with you. Hey, Opus. The Port well, we'll, we'll, show. we'll try that in the future. I'll see if I can't. Uh, coerce a few people to say hey you get to smoke some weed with me for 420 we'll see who we can get on here local local folks bring on some bring local your... port albernies yeah just all bcp i'll just drag some people off the street Be like the beachcombers or something yeah. wouldn't it once again yeah. can you imagine once it gets known there'll be like a lineup at my door starting at like four o'clock <laughs> may, may just dying over there on the... <laughs> what every time i fly into vancouver you cross out all that all that lumber and all that lake lumber that's just sitting there. It looks like the fucking beachcombers. What can I say? You're like, yeah, <laughs> you're flying into a modern city here. And all that lumber in the uh, lake down there. It's yeah. blue collar, man. Dude, you got to like, that's what I mean. You sh that's what your show should be. The new Opus show. People ring your bell. Hey, Opus, and lock in. Do a bong rip. And you're like, oh, this is so-and-so. He buys this so off of me. Or I buy this. Or this is my neighbor who does that. Port Alberni. Yeah, I'll get, yeah, I'll get the lady in who uh, runs the laundromat. <laughs> yeah, that the, the laundromat lady or have the mayor over for tea? No, <laughs> it, it's Port Alberni. It's it's pretty far out there, and in, in, from what I can tell. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a stretch, but you know, we'll have some videos of uh, stuff we've been doing. We'll we'll definitely take videos of the local area and flavor. We'll have lots to show. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, the show is going to be a little different than what uh, we were doing over at the uh, Pot TV headquarters at the big main studio in downtown Vancouver. So it's we'll my, be coming to you from Opus Farms Opus instead. Opus Farms. Uh, it's my understanding, Opus Farms, and you're going to be on the air on Mondays. Uh, it's what? my understanding that uh, Opus Farms is currently scouting outdoor locations for the summer. Yeah, we are. Interest. What? How do you do that? Well, like today, I uh, I drove out to a few places I checked out on Google Earth first, yeah. and uh, then I went snowshoeing in, and uh, 
to see what the terrain was like. Uh, I checked for water sources. I'm looking for open area. I'm looking for uh, ease to get into, lack of people. Just uh, And I mean, this year is only going to be a tester. I'm just throw a couple plants here and a few there just to see how things work out. If the water stays good for the summer or it turns out that it's dried up, um, see if anybody finds them. You know, if nobody finds them, it's a good a good chance to try it again next year in the same spot. How to grow outdoor weed with opus. Okay. Yeah, that's Dude, my that's specialty. A- that's my whole background is really chomp around the bush being an outdoor gorilla farmer. No, everybody is excited, Jeremiah, especially that there is a protest and stuff I heard to bring Mick back. Don't forget, though, I'm in my final contract season of the Pot TV Network. So I wonder if my people, Jeremiah... Are, uh, have contacted Jose Canseco. And we want Jose Canseco on the show next. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go, guys. Thanks, Mick. Thanks Good luck lot. on Monday. Okay. Yeah, man. See you Monday. Why am I Take shouting? Care. He's got company he doesn't want to have on the show. That's right. He had company he didn't want on the show. He, Mick's getting some tonight. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs>